what's up guys welcome to my channel in this video i'll be giving you a quick tutorial of remote ng so remote ng is a tool that you can use to manage remote connections whether it be ssh or rdp session to a windows server so to create a connection simply right click on connections and select new connection you have a server running in virtual box which i'm going to use it to ssh2 so let me minimize that down here in this section is where you're going to provide all the information so you can give it a name aura uat that is the name of my server you can choose any icon you want so i'm gonna say file server and then once you change the icon it changes up here say if i switch this to linux it shows a little linux icon here i need to specify the host so i'm just specifying the ip and then you specify the username and the password in the password section so you're going to change the protocol so rdp is if you're connecting to like a windows machine we're going to be using ssh version 2 so the port changed to 22 which is the default and now we can attempt to connect so right click and select connect so you can see that we are now successfully connected to remote ng now you may have several server connections here you can do a backup of it by selecting file export file and specify a name for your file so let's browse i'm just gonna save it on the desktop remote ng connections so i'm just I'm gonna say remote ng con for short save and you have the option to save the username password domain and inheritance right so i'm going to select ok here now when i go to my desktop i should be seeing that file so let's view it edit with notepad and you can see all the connection properties let's go back to remote ng if you're supposed to to import the file you simply go to file and select import import from file and then browse for the file that you want to import so that's so that's it for now guys thank you for watching and see you in the next video